Hello everyone and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSP's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on June 3rd and has been edited for YouTube. Before switching to Career Mode I started in a Realism Overhaul install to try and get a Mars Ascent vehicle on its way to Mars, but didn't have the right timing for that. Uh, that was for my Mars Design Reference Mission video, so this is not the actual beginning of the stream. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming, I'm Tyler Ray's there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter to find out both when I'm streaming and when I post videos. I usually stream on the weekends at 1pm Pacific Time, 8pm GMT, and also on Wednesdays at 4pm Pacific, 11pm GMT. Now on to my commentary from June the 3rd. What, what else do we have to do by the way? Orbit Val? We've got the tourist thing. I haven't even started on that yet. We're running out of time, actually. This is 12 years. We're on year 15. Build a new orbital station around Jewel. We sort of just got done with that, didn't we? Maybe a better one would be able to rescue Sidri. I don't think there's anything particular. I guess we might as well pick up this contract just to fund uh, Sidri Rescue, right? We'll, we'll pick this up to fund the uh, Sidri Rescue. If they gotta give it to us, that's fine. Okay. Pick up that guy in LKO on my way. Uh, no, because uh, that. That's, let's let's leave that as a separate mission. I don't like to. You're you're trying to chain a lot of things together, aren't you? You're trying to do exactly what got you in trouble in the first place. Um, these are the, the lightest pods. Oh, sending a five-man pod to Jewel isn't trying to chain a lot of things together. Not really. Um, I mean. How heavy is this? 2.5. How heavy was that? 2. I still like the other design better. The Mark II cockpit. I'm just worried about bringing it back down. 2 tons for the Mark... Yeah, I guess, actually, this 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 way is cheaper. I mean, uh, less mass. Because if the cockpit is 2 tons, and this crew cap cabin is 2 tons, that's 4 tons. And this, this system... I mean, of course I'm gonna smooth things out, but this will be less. Mostly aerodynamic. Well, uh, this, this is con more convenient because uh, we can slap on the parachute up here. A parachute. We'll, we'll have more than one parachute. Uh, what we can do is... Well, if we're gonna send a tourist over... Well, let's let's skip the tourist thing. Ugh. Uh, well, let's put the engine on first. Why that pod instead of a capsule? It's not designed for re-entry. Um, I think it'll survive regardless, actually. I don't think they've done anything to actually prevent us from doing re-entry. Um, you, you want... The, the reason I picked this is, of course, because it has less mass. Uh, I guess, I guess it, I don't know, this, this, is there really a benefit to the Mark 1 command pod? Let me check how much Delta V this has. Realism! Realism in KSP. What a, what a concept. I don't know, I think this is pretty aerodynamic. What do you think? Uh, let me see how much Delta V this has, though. 5.2 tons is quite a lot. 2,911 Delta V. Then we'll leave this canister in dual orbit. This will be out of most of its fuel. We could add token landing struts to make it a little bit safer on touchdown if we wanted to. I don't know, uh, so... You're getting less and less kosher with your clipping. I just want to rescue the Kerbal. 
So I, I don't want to like, have too much fuss. And then we can use this for tourism, can't we? Yeah, that if this works, this could be used for tourism. I can t uh, what you got? Service mod. That, that's the thing with the service module having that glitch. It's really annoying. Service bay. It's really annoying. I guess we'll go with this. Um, are they the fairings make my bulky, awkward stuff more slippery in the? Give me your pitch for why fairings are bad. Okay. Um, well, we can we could conceivably put a fairing here. Uh, but then this, we don't. Do we have a 2.5 meter fairing? We need one. Okay, so 2.5 meter fairing. This currently has 5.8 tons. Let's uh, make it as tight as possible. That's as tight as possible. Uh, 7.6 tons. Oh, hello, Devin. Sorry. Well, you. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, hi. Wondering why I need mod propellant. Usually just lower thrust on the engine if you want to fine tune, unless you're docking. Uh, I like to get pretty darn close to my Kerbals when I'm trying to. Well, uh, we could dock, actually. Yeah, I, I guess we. Well, of course we don't have to dock. Um, 2,528. That's still enough for a dual return. But you know what? Uh, we we should probably dump the RCS. Uh, we'll we'll put the RCS on the transfer stage. Uh, I mean the, this this portion. I don't know. I don't want to carry the RCS back with me. We do need solar panels though. Are you gonna land on Kerbin? Uh, I have to return this back to Kerbin. This is a rescue vehicle. So we're trying to rescue our Sidri around around uh, Lath. I think we should just focus on a rescue. Maybe we'll skip the station for now. What do you guys think? Should, do we do we do the station at the same time, or do we do the rescue and the station? Which would you rather see? Can dump them at 35 to 45, but by that time they've already done most of their business. Um, they've already uh, hampered my ability to do anything useful. Okay, well you guys want to see fairings, I'll, I'll do fairings. What about atmospheric heating? What, what about atmospheric heating? Heating frankly has not done much to us, has it? But then again, we are re returning from Jewel, which would be rather more serious. Okay, hmm. Well, that's a consideration. Let's, okay, you know what? We'll do it properly. Yeah, okay, uh, I think you guys have sort of pseudo-convinced me to do this properly. Let, let's let's make it look like a proper realistic uh, mission. Command pod. Heat shield even. With standard parachute. That's pretty heavy. Um, let me unlock this one. Let's do sort of a Gemini thing. Oh no, that's that's bigger than I wanted. Once Sidri is in, you don't need the probe core, so you could put that in a lower stage. Um, yeah, but this isn't too heavy, is it? It's 0.2 tons. Let me see how much Delta V this has. Uh, probe core on, up top with batteries sunk into it, then four solar panels. Wasn't that just what I did before I started this, man? I thought that was pretty much where I started off with, and then I decided to go this route. <laughs> um, speaking of uh, solar panels, though, we'll get those on. 
Yeah, that's the thing. I would like this to be able to do the tourist missions, though. Hmm. That's the tricky part. Right now, we can't do the tourist missions because we won't be able to control this. Well, we can re reconfigure at a later time. Let's just go with this. This will be enough for a Kerbal Rescue, anyway. And we're bound to need to do that a few times. Tuck the RCS into the pod a little bit. You think it'll look right? Come on. We have to be worried about uh, hatch being obstructed too. That seems like the hatch is clear. If we go that low, hopefully the hatch isn't obstructed there. Still looks a little bit off. Use tweak scale. <laughs> we are doing stock right, yes. Let's remind everybody, this is stock. Okay, I need to calculate the delta V on this thing. Oh, uh, we need we need some actual. Let's. Uh, we we don't need that much. We do need the actual RCS ports. Two thousand four hundred. I think that should be good enough. We do have to transfer out of lathe and then transfer back to back to our regular. Scheduled programming. Um, okay. Um, I don't. I don't know if I need one of these. I don't see that as being a thing. Now, really, all of this is going to be hanging out together until we get the Kerbal. So I'll put a advanced inline stabilizer here. That that's a little bit. Actually, I should switch. Uh, if I'm being picky, I should switch around the position of this and those because of where the hatch is. Well, yeah, that might be just too much. Okay, so we've got this, and this is a... Let's call it a poodle stage to get us to Jewel and Lathe. How much would this have? Do I have mods? No mods. This is stock. I'm not particularly the greatest stock guy. I do usually use mods and other uh, things, but I just happen to be doing a stock hard career mode series. 2,845 Delta V. Problem is, when we're meeting up with our Kerbal... Well, I guess we could ditch this and then just use RCS, in which case I should probably have more RCS. The question is, I'm trying to figure out is whether I need to put RCS over here. The, you know, the good thing is, we don't have to air brake at Jewel. We can air brake at Lathe now. We know the air braking altitude at Lathe. Uh, well, we know a air braking altitude at Lathe. Hmm. It would probably have to be lower in order to air brake us when we're coming in that quickly. That could be tricky. So we don't actually know the Leif air braking coming in straight from Kerbin. Hmm. Okay, 22 tons. What do we need in order to launch this? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna add stuff. Uh, if you guys think of something that I need to add, please tell me. Because I do forget stuff and I think there's stuff I need to continue adding to this. First thing I'm gonna do is put a large reaction wheel because I keep flipping around. Now... Mitko assures me that a tall rocket will work. Mitko, are you still confident in that? If we build this as a tall rocket, we aren't going to have horrible problems. I recall you said two, two of these reaction wheels like this. Maybe we should design a standard launcher now. I mean, it's been a while. I've sort of not gotten a good standard launcher for heavy payloads. Test a tall one for science. Noodle science. 
Okay, well, uh, yeah, I guess we can test, but we should we should make it as legit as possible, as as stable as conceivable. This this intra stage needs to be a little bit shorter. Yeah, I could use my technique to shorten it. I was thinking about that. The usual few lines, one side struts, otherwise. Might produce a roll, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, well. Okay, well, let's go with it for now. If I had the large controller, or the 2.5 meter service bay, I'd try to bring this back down, I think. But we don't have such things. We'll, we will put SRBs, by the way, don't worry. But we have to do this first. Are you talking about struts up and down? That I've done. I mean, uh, before. If you want to do that again. I don't think it's strictly necessary or help. Well, could be helpful for stability. Let's see how it looks, though. It'd have to be on the outside of it. So that's 2,197. Call it 2,200 and it'll be fine. No prevent noodle? Okay. You make it with thrust weight of 1, then add SRVs. Uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. We are going to be using SRBs right away, huh? Uh, the reason I did this, of course, is because someday, someday, we will have, uh, wait, uh, we'll have the big landing struts, and then I can put them on here and land this sucker if we get the large controller. So this could be a landable stage. That could be, too, uh, if we extend it a little bit. But you make a good point that we could use SRBs and then... Let me, let me see what the delta V of this stage is right now and then I'll uh, think further. Only 1,541. 1,689. So, by adding 8 tons of fuel, we added about 170 meters per second delta V. So not much. And if we add more fuel, it's just going to be diminishing returns from here. So I don't think I need to add more fuel to this stage. We could add the boosters, though. Do I have the stock bug fix? Uh, I've got most of them. Which one are you referring to specifically so I know what you're worried about? The boosters are massive. How long do they burn? They burn for... Well, they've got 2,500 fuel. Let's say uh, 50 per second. So that's 50 seconds, uh, probably closer to 60 seconds, somewhere between 50 and 60 seconds. Yeah, I've got the... the only stop bug fix module I don't have is the symmetry action one. But, okay, well I'll take your advice. Let's, let's do both. Let's fuel limit and thrust limit. Maybe the developers aren't fa fond of the cup half full versus empty discussion? <laughs> okay, well then they should have uh, made it impossible to reduce the solid fuel in them by half, right? I mean, why can we tweak this to 4.0 out of 8? Beats me. Now below this entire rocket put a stage of uh, twin bore with two extra mainsails and then four more kick packs. Decouple the boosters while they still have some fuel for that effect? Let's not. I've, I've already uh, made some concessions to realism here. I think, uh, I think I'm done on that score. Okay, so we need 3,238 thrust. Let's say I limit this to... Come on, give me 80%. Oh, wait, I saw it. Come on, 80%. Yep, that'll give it to us. Fins. Now you say fins, huh? I thought we had a deal with just the reaction wheels. Let me save this for heaven's sakes. Uh, let's say uh, multi-purpose rescue. Let's just call it that.
Yeah, I know I can go as low as 1.25. Shall we go as low as 1.25 or shall we go for a nice big launch? That's 1.21. Let's split the difference. The center of lift always annoys me. You can see it's not even on the vehicle right now. Center of lift has nothing to do with our vehicle. Now, as we burn fuel, the center mass is going to move up. So that's not too bad. Do you guys think this is going to look is this gonna flip over? <laughs> Let me ask, ask the question that I'm really pondering right now. Is this going to flip over? It will not flip over, Langra said. Not if I fly it like a champ. Well, that's not gonna happen. Let's see what will happen. Okay, I'm gonna save this and we need, we need a transfer to Jewel now. I mean, even if we get to Jewel and everything, then there's the question of whether we can rendezvous with our Kerbal, who's in a weird orbit around Leith, which is a totally separate issue. What the? Okay, that's a satellite contract of some kind. Alright, well, let's give it a go. I mean, Sidri, Sidri will just hang out. If this fails, Sidri will just hang out until our next opportunity. Okay, Thrall is up, SAS is on. We have half our ablator, half of our monopropellant, well, five ninths of our monopropellant. Just found out before uh, you get too hasty and time warp to you next should wait 10 seconds because the specific uh okay uh we'll go for launch five four three two one come on baby hold together i think the music is acceptable I think the, oh oh whoa 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 oh oh um SAS off <laughs> SAS was not playing friendly right there Just hold down F when it starts to wobble huh We should be rotating a little bit faster, but I'm a little bit worried too. Okay, set. Oh, those went off nicely. That was a nice set. And let's see if SAS can hold it now. No, it can't. Uh, well, you say hold down F. Okay. I could just toggle SAS. We are going too high. Oh fudge. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to force rotation here now. Okay, uh, wait, this staging looks totally wrong. Okay. Okay, we didn't flip. We had other problems, but we didn't flip. Yeah, no need to worry about flipping after passing 20k. Or thereabouts, anyway. Okay. Seems like we're going okay here. Sidri, we're coming for you. Slightly vibrating in place, yeah. 
I assume that's all right. I assume that's not an indication that's gonna fall apart. I mean, of course, I've had that with other rockets as well. I I've never quite decided whether that's a bad indication or it's just sort of an effect. So, deployed the fins. I really tried to avoid fins as much as possible, but here we are, using fins. Okay, we're in orbit. Yeah, this could lift more to orbit. Very much so. We'll be using quite a lot of this fuel for our transfer. Yep, uh, I'd say... What was our... I mean, we aren't recovering. It. It, that's why I thought about recovering, right? Because uh, we actually have a lot of margin. Uh, this could lift 30 tons, I'm sure. It's cheaper to coast to apoapsis. I was under the impression it's better to burn outright. Um, only if you're not burning radially. Uh, the best thing is to do one continuous burn as long as you're continually headed prograde. Uh, if you have to burn radially in order to continue the burn, then that is not as efficient as burning at apoapsis. Just shutting off and burning at apoapsis. Maybe you can get rid of the fins on the second stage? Maybe. Uh, you know what? The reason I have... Well, we'll see. We'll see. We will develop this launcher further. Okay, let me try and fine-tune this. this. is a little bit off from what I want. Yeah, the way drag is calculated is on attachment nodes. And the bottom of the tank is another attachment node. Now... The extent to which stock KSB figures out which direction the attachment node is facing, that's the question. And I'm not confident that it really does figure that out. And that's why the nose cones are at the bottom of the tank. We could turn on the aerodynamic uh, readout and check whether it does or not. Let me try a mid-course plane change. That'll do the trick. How much does that cost? Only 200. Alright, we'll go with this. Apparently the new arrow is strange. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, no, I mean, it's not that strange. Actually, FAR for a long time had the same thing. Uh... Newer versions of FAR made adjustments to that. It's possible to launch a cannonball into orbit. Um, yeah, as, as Grisba said, cannon big enough, tower tall enough. Yep. Okay, that's the end of that stage. And of course you don't need a tower, you just need to launch from like Everest or something. From the ground. <laughs> yeah, who says a tower isn't on the ground? Splitting hairs. Uh, from the ground. Um, no, I mean, terminal velocity is eventually going to hold you back. I mean, of course, if you had something really, 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 really powerful, we're talking like, you know, railgun kind of thing. Uh, but you'd have to have a pretty big railgun to launch a cannonball. The flat surface on the bottom of the tanks would probably be problematic in real life. Cause turbulence. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, you know what? It would cause bad mock effects. That I'll give it to you. It'll cause drag due to mock effects. Because Mach is uh, due to the surface, the, the cross-sectional area. It takes cross-sectional -sec area into account. And so the flat bottoms mean that the cross-sectional area of the craft suddenly changes. And then you're going to have bad Mach uh, drag. 
So yeah. Yeah, so you'll notice when planes are designed, they try to avoid very sudden changes in the cross-sectional area of the design. That's only for, well, I mean, anything that gets close to Mach number, uh, Mach 1, they'll do that for. Is that a life encounter? No, I don't think so. That, that might be some other thing. Okay, let's see what's going on here. That's hitting something. Tylo. That's hitting Tylo. Not really what we want. Lathe is not hanging out there. I guess we could target Lathe right now, can't we? Okay, Lathe. What's up? I think the Tylo encounter... It's just... Wants to take into account the tile encounter and totally ignore. Oh, there's Lathe. Uh, okay, we'll do that. Okay, out to interplanetary space. Let me turn first and get my solar panels out. We'll just click lights. reason I'm turning first is because it uh, gives us good orientation for the sun, I think. Okay, we are now in interplanetary space. Do we still have a lathe encounter? Yes, we do. Okay, out we go. 